Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Time for us to leave the capital capital of Lanedale and um, officially enter into Endgame. So, we have pretty much, I think, cleared everything before capital Lanedale, apart from the Lanedale Capitacombs. But I'm excited and I want to get moving forward, so that's what we're going to do. Maybe the next episode we'll come back for it. Um, but for now... It's time for us to leave. Why is my health being reduced? It's me doing that Baldockin's blessing in my inventory. I've got some stuff we need to get rid of. In any case, we're just going to literally head on to the east here. And get this opened. This is going to be a lot of demi humans out here. Some misbegotten. misbegotten warriors? I can't remember what I'm supposed to call them now. I mean, everything's going to hurt, so we need to be careful. Good for one shotting some of this thing, which is nice. We've got to be careful as we come on around. Just make sure we're not leaving ourselves open to get ambushed. We're gonna do the lower area first. Technically, the path of progression is up the stairs, but I think it's a I thought it was a ritual part or a cracked part over this way. But either way, a uh, an item we're gonna want over at the end. Hello, dog. I mean to roll that way. So many. Stop it. But uh, all going well. We're like, how do they keep piercing? That's really weird. It's all going nicely. This is where everything messes up. And if anything's going too smoothly, things have to go wrong. Let's go to the dog. I did not realise it had a jump that long. That's why I didn't dodge there. <laughs> I didn't realise it could close like that. It's like the jump had tracking on it. Perfume bottle. Here we go. Even better than what I thought it was. With that done there, we can just loop on back around now and go upstairs. If you've used too much resources here, obviously there's nothing stopping you from uh, turning back and um, resetting if you need to. If you haven't defeated... I don't know if it's Morgoth, but I think you need at least like two runes or something. Or maybe even three runes to get through. Um, this gate up here. I don't know if um, Mogwin or like because there's quite a few of the enemies that we can beat before here. I um, don't know who counts. I'm assuming it's the ones that drop your remembrances but yes yeah, so we need at least a few of those. Got more enemies over here. Don't get tricked. Should be... Don't know what the thing of, you know, praying to the statue is. Right, they're all rather... For, for, for beastly looking dudes, they're all rather uh, pious. So we should get the option to summon here. Uh, and I don't have my, F my uh, FP fight. Let's get this on. It's because this fight is uh, atrociously bad. So we're going to get you first. Although, apparently, I'm able to lay waste to these enemies at least. Don't get used to this feeling, it's not going to last long. No! Lootle! You're supposed to be guarding me. I didn't even take much time to say that, that was weird, wasn't it? I'm 
There we are. So we're now pretty much free to leave. There's a boss on the way out. And we'll probably push a little further than the boss so that we get a better grace to, to face it with. Come over this way. Might as well have uh, this on. I haven't changed my uh, thingies over yet. Let's see what kind of bonus that gives me now anyway. So that's from 1242 to 1286. 40 health, 6 equip load, 11 stamina. Not bad. I don't think it's essential for this character. This character is actually doing fairly fine without it. Usually it's essential for me. Um, especially if you want to have like decent armor on and, and that kind of thing. But because we're, we're staying light, really isn't an issue. Aurus. Everything here is optional to, to defeat, basically. Um, so you don't need to worry yourself about blowing everything up. But we're going to wreck our way through because it makes me happy. that. I think it's just an upgrade stone, but I'll get it anyways. Come on then. Oh, it's... <laughs> I forgot it did that. Weird one. There we go. I don't know why that one does that. It's really weird. Someone somewhere just like, yeah, oh, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so two places we can go. I don't think there is a grace this way. Let me just quick nosy. No, so you don't want to run out of there just yet because it'll get you into a uh, into a boss fight. We don't want that. Um, shouldn't be too difficult for us, but I'm not exactly flush with FP right now. I think it's this side. I just want to. Oh no, no. No! Just... <laughs> Let me uh, cut back to there. Okay, so back on the lift. Sorry about that. Um, I think you guys probably will have seen it when I was on my way down there. There is a... a doorway on the way down. Which, now I've lost my... sight up. It's just right there, look. If you can get it just on the way down, it's just a little bit more convenient. But, um, being as going against the wall, apparently, uh... Is punishable by death. It's probably not the best idea. So the reason we're coming out here right now is to tag this grace. Um, take a rest at it. I haven't really done very much, obviously, since resetting, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. Um, and then we're going to go back up the lift so it go towards where we saw that soldier. Mostly because he's, it's like a bit of bait. You'll go out there and you'll get sucked into like a different dimension. You'll see. Oh. Quite enjoying this mission. Hopefully, hopefully it's strong enough to make it through. Um, to make it through end game, we may have to do something that's not like necessarily. What's the word? The most efficient. We might have to continue putting points into int to to keep on increasing the DPS, but. There we are. So this guy's going to be dead. Pop this now. And brutal out. Hello, big one in red. Let's go with you then. I don't know if you can, like fall off an edge or anything. It's never happened. Hopefully not. No, nope, nobody wants hooks from you. Going off, that's not good. Stop. Oh man. Distractions not good right now.
Ah, sh <laughs> Literally got the finish. Good job. Never use own killer. Strong potentially could be a good summon, to be honest. This should be tanky, and it does pretty good stagger damage. That takes us to the other side. This should be where we can use Morgoth's rune. I'm also thinking, again, might be less efficient, but I think I might take my FP to being higher than my stamina bar. Which really we shouldn't be too far away from. Honestly, this is the lowest health I've ever had at this stage of the game. I can't believe I've not even won 40 vig yet. Like, 40 should be like the minimum. Maybe we'll stop at 40. Then we can be proper squishy. Proper squishy. My stop at 40. Then we can be a squishy mage. Intelligence has to reach 80. That's gonna happen. What's that? 40 mine, 40 endurance then? Yeah. <laughs> it's like 40, 40, 40. Lots of intelligence. Uh, where are we? There. Positive, we can get a second one from here later. There's more God's Rune. So that's that done. And now we can fast travel, uh, keep you there, fast travel back to the Forbidden Lands Grace. Where we can begin heading north. Uh, is it night time? It is not. Let's make it night time. We might as well deal with the Knight's Cavalry that we don't have to come back for it later. Um, past time, nightfall. Now, where's my rock? Don't think it's this one. I think it's that one. Don't think it's that one. There's a good rock for fighting this Knight's nice Cavalry on. Oh, I don't really want to aggro those. Oh man, too much of it. <laughs> Where are you? Can't see the Knight's nice Cavalry anywhere. It's going to catch me out, isn't it? It's not this. I think it's this. Yes, this is exactly where I want to be. Why have you gotten yourself stuck there? It's hilarious. I suppose I should have bought rocks. Rocks seem to hit these better. But if you're going to get yourself stuck there, then I'm going to take advantage of that. Nice. 
Okay, uh, I guess he wanted to die easy. Uh, but now anyways, we can just continue along the path. If that's what you want to call this, I don't know if you call it a path. We should have a golden tree on the right hand side as we're coming up. We don't need it, but I suppose we should collect it anyway. Where is it? A bit of loot here. I don't remember this. Topping stone. Should just be there we go. On the right hand side. We have golden seed. And then now it should pretty much be as easy as going north. We're looking for a big looking gate. And when we get there, we want to sprint as quickly as we can up the steps to the grace behind it. so we can take a quick rest. And we are able to level. How nice. And now we'll face the gargoyle. Come on. Should be any second now. And there we go. So we want that. And on. One gargoyle, Lori. Come on, Gargoyle, Lurie. That's opening shot there, little. Oh, wrong thing. Did damage there, it's good. Oh, no, don't want any of that. That stuff you're selling is potent. Oh, do you mind? I can't get one shot off. Time for you to get down now, though. <laughs> Take it to the nose. pretty much going to get us to where I want to go. The rest of that, so we're good. So now it's up here to show the rolled medallion, which we should have gotten from Millennia. But I don't think you can get here if you haven't gotten it from Millennia, because you get locked in the boss room. Let's get this. It's all cool, you guys watch everything, but I need to try to shave the time down. Okay. Now that we're up here, we should see Shubiri. And I don't think there's any reason not to kill Shubiri. Um, because basically all I know that he does is he stands there until he gets like near the end of the game with the frenzied flame ending on and then he leaves his arm set. So I don't know if we can kill him for it now. Maybe I'll Google it and we'll do that next episode if that's the thing we can do. Finally, the tarnished. Oh my, I fear that, well, as for his flesh... Yeah, so he's in like he's in Yora's is it Yora? Yori? Yora? He's in Yora's arm set, but yeah, it's a different guy. Must be covering his eyes because they glow. I don't know. Either way, that's good for this episode. That closes us out. We have arrived in the cold, bitter north. Next episode then, I'll decide whether or not we need to kill this dude. 
and then we will get a couple of bits of loot from here. We'll be passing around around the edge of this. I suppose we could do the cave. Probably makes sense. Bit of loot here, bit of loot out here. There's a grace the way we should see Millicent over this way. And then we can actually defeat Rikard because we'll actually have the final bit of thing done. We should probably go and progress some of the Volcano Manor deal, um, dialogue, but we don't need to really, not to, to get all the goodies. So that's going to close out the episode. I'll see you guys again soon.